the Islamic philosophers, Ibn Tufail, Abu Basa, and Ibn al-Nafiz, were pioneers of the philosophical novel. Ibn Tufail wrote the first fictional Arabic novel Hayy ibn Yaqdin, Philosopher Sautodidactus, as a response to al-Ghazli's The Incoherence of the Philosophers, and then Ibn al-Nafiz also wrote a fictional novel Theologus Sautodidactus as a response to Ibn Tufail's Philosopher Sautodidactus. Both of these novels had protagonists. Hayy in Philosophus Autodidactus and Camille in Theologus Autodidactus, who were autodidactic individuals spontaneously generated in a cave and living in seclusion on a desert island, both being the earliest examples of a desert island story. However, while Hayy lives alone on the desert island for most of the story in Philosophus Autodidactus, the story of Camille extends beyond the desert island setting in Theologus Autodidactus developing into the first example of a science fiction novel. Ibn al-Nafiz described his book Theologus Autodidactus as a defense of the system of Islam and the Muslims' doctrines on the missions of prophets, the religious laws, the resurrection of the body, and the transitoriness of the world. He presents rational arguments for bodily resurrection and the immortality of the human soul using both demonstrative reasoning and material from the Hadith corpus to prove his case. Later Islamic scholars viewed this work as a response to the metaphysical claim of Avicenna and Ibn Tufel that bodily resurrection cannot be proven through reason, a view that was earlier criticized by Al-Ghazli. A Latin translation of Philosophus Autodidactus was published in 1671 prepared by Edward Bocock the Younger. The first English translation by Simon Eckley was published in 1708, and German and Dutch translations were also published at the time. Philosophus Autodidactus went on to have a significant influence on European literature, and became an influential bestseller throughout Western Europe in the 17th and 18th centuries. These translations later inspired Daniel Defoe to write Robinson Crusoe which also featured a desert island narrative and was regarded as the first novel in English. Philosophus Autodidactus also had a profound influence on modern Western philosophy. It became one of the most important books that heralded the scientific revolution and European enlightenment, and the thoughts expressed in the novel can be found in different variations and to different degrees in the books of Thomas Hobbes, John Locke, Isaac Newton and Immanuel Kant. The novel inspired the concept of tabula rasa developed in an essay concerning human understanding, 1690, by Locke, who was a student of Bocock. Philosophus Autodidactus also developed the themes of empiricism, tabula rasa, nature versus nurture, condition of possibility, materialism, and Molyneux's problem. The novel also inspired Robert Boyle, another acquaintance of Bocock to write his own philosophical novel set on an island, The Aspiring Naturalist. Other European scholars influenced by philosophers autodidactors include Gottfried Leibniz, Melchizedek Thevenot, John Wallace, Christian Huygens, George Keith, Robert Barclay, The Quakers, and Samuel Hartlib.